I want to know how you got into boxing. Where did your interest come from? He took me down there, um, had a couple of sessions, and I was like, yeah, I like this very much. But um, Yeah, imagine all that lead up, all that training, um, like the runs every day. Oh, bro. Just to uh, not be able to fight because of passing. Oh, that's happened to me before. Then we got back from London at like 1 a.m. That's what with I was saying. your fight bro. the next day. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I should have been asleep that <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's like, the mindset like going into it? Man, like. It's just for me. I, I think to my I think in my head. Oh, I can't lose, man. You're a winner, bro. Why are you numb this yeah, position, exactly. bro? Change it, change. Yeah! Yeah! When I'm training, bro. Literally, my head just going to clear. If I was to give you guys advice, bro, literally getting some boxing, man, it's the best thing. Yeah. Best thing. No, I agree. Yeah. So, right, we're going to start off at the very beginning. I want to know how you got into boxing. Where did your interest come from? Uh, So, well, uh, me and my dad was watching the Anthony Joshua match with Clinchco. And after that, that really inspired me. Like, I, I just thought it's a way to get out of struggle. Like, because obviously my mum, my dad were good. Well, they were going through a bit of struggle. So, like, that's, that was my only way out. Yeah. And how old, how old were you at that time? Uh, I was 15. 15? Yeah, 15. Quite late old. then in terms of things. Yeah, like I know. Most people get into boxing early on. Yeah, literally about maybe like four years old some people get into boxing i'm pretty sure aj started when he was 15 though yeah nah, yeah so there you go yeah he You're started next very late and deontay wilder as well mm. he started when he was like 19 20 so yeah so yeah you got time yeah hopefully <laughs> so did you well how did you start out did you just go to a boxing club did you do some stuff um, on your own well so i went to a gym in bletchley leisure center and there was a boxing pc so um, I tried him out for a while. Yeah, it, w it was all right. It was all right. <laughs> but I, w I don't feel like I was progressing. Mm -hmm. So I had a kid that lived on my street called Loris. Um, I, we used to play out together all the time. But um, I didn't know that he done boxing. So he told me that he does boxing. And he got me down to his club that he trains at, which is Bletchley ABC. Come on. Uh, Right there. Come on. <laughs> Still where you're going today. Right. Yep. <laughs> but actually ABC. So yeah, um he took me down there. Um I had a couple of sessions and I was like, Yeah, I like this very much. Like it was just different. Mm -hmm. Like everyone treated you like a family, like yeah, it's just And like how long was it before you had your like first proper fight? Ooh, how long? Mm. <sighs> oh, that's... I think it was like uh, Maybe a year. A year of, what, training at the club? Yeah, a year of training at, at the club, yeah. Was that the, the skills belt or was the skills belt before that? No, nah, that was the skills belt. Okay. Yeah, that was the skills belt. How's it, how did that go? Um, It went, went very good. Like, it was a good experience. Mm. Um, I had it, Um, it was May, I think, 2000 and, ah, ah, I can't remember. It was May, May 25th, though. But, uh, yeah, it was really good, like. I got to experience fighting in front of a crowd. So, yeah, it was really good. Where but, was where was that held, that uh, event? Uh, uh, the Working Men's Club. In Bletchley. In, yeah, the, yeah, in Bletchley, the one I had my last fight. Yeah, but um, the thing is, like, when you're in the ring, adrenaline gets to you so mm -hmm. much that you forget anything that you do in the ring. But yeah, it was a really good experience. So, like, what was the training leading up to that? Because, of course, like, a year is not long. It takes years to master boxing. Yeah. So, like, on the lead up to that, what was it like? Um. Well, like, I was just running, doing cardio, mm. and we done. We was doing circuits. Um. Uh, yeah. Literally, that's about it. Like circuits most of the time, and just running cardio. That's what it's all about. 
So like, yeah. what happened next after your skills bout? Because then, of course, you had your first proper amateur boxing match, match eventually. Oh, yeah. Um, so um, this was in college these times. So, um, yeah, I was going through college and then, um, yeah. So I was training for a little bit. Well, I was training most of the time. And after my coach told me that I'll be fighting in Harrow, London, mm-hmm. On uh, on the weekend, so yeah, I was just getting ready for that running outside. Like <laughs> I remember <laughs> before college, I used to wake up five o'clock in the morning and go for a run. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. Um, and then after, got home, get ready, and then go to college. I used to do that every single day. But yeah, I was actually running, shadow boxing, doing circuits at the gym. Um, yeah, and then. Uh, leading up to the fight on on the night before, I had to get my kit. Mm-hmm. So, uh, like this jumper and the tracksuit and just my boxing shorts and my vest. But yeah, <laughs> it was really good, really good. So yeah, the fight that went down in Harrow. Yeah, how did that play out? Um, it was really good. Like I was, oh my gosh, I was so nervous. Like, <laughs> yeah, what's like, the mindset like going into it? Man, like. It's just for me. I I think to my I think in my head. Oh, I can't lose, man, because like uh, in front of my family, I yeah. can't I can't lose, and I really want to win my first bout. So, um, but yeah, I was nervous. Like my legs were shaking. Mm-hmm. Um, like I was shivering, bro. <laughs> Literally, my jaw was shivering. Everything, but um, oh yeah, one thing I'm gonna say um is. Was it the night before? Um, I was on weight, but yeah. um, because like <laughs> I think I know everything. I had a whole bowl of pasta the night before. Right, so you went overweight. Yeah, basically that. <laughs> yeah, so I went. I went to the gym the next morning to get, to get myself weighed in. Yeah, and I was overweight, and my coach was quite a bit angry with me. But <laughs> they still let you fight. Yeah, yeah. How much overweight were you? Two kg. Wow. Yeah. How were you two kg over? Well, I don't know, man. From pasta. Hi, uh, yeah. But so, yeah, they still let you fight and everything. Yeah, yeah. The limit is two kg, and it's okay. So like, you're sorted. Yeah, but uh, like literally, <laughs> I had to try, you know, pooing, <laughs> <laughs> but obviously that didn't work. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, um. So I still got to fight. So it was alright. But, um, yeah, imagine all that lead up, all that training, like the runs every day, oh, bro. just to uh, not be able to fight because of pasta. Bro, that's happened to me before. Has it? But not because of pasta. Well, we'll get on to that then. Yeah, yeah. But um, now, like, the fighting Harold was sick. Like, we all won our bouts. There was three did people you? fighting. Everyone from Bletchley? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> round by round, how did it go? Um, round by round. What was your, like, what was your head like through it? Uh, First round, well... To be honest, in my head, I don't know what I was going through because mm-hmm. like, adrenaline like, just kicks in and you don't even know what punches you throw in the ring. But for, when I looked back on the fight, first round, yeah, I done all right, I done all right. Yeah. Um, second round, I got I got beat up. <laughs> but in the third round, oh my gosh. I, you know what? This sounds awfully familiar. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll, we'll get on to that. <laughs> but yeah, the third round, I mash work. Uh, I beat him up, mm-hmm. um, but the thing is, yeah, man, this guy like he kept holding on to me, like <laughs> literally kept holding my what, neck from the down. start. Uh, yeah, from the strap, uh, right from the start. What was your clinch work like at that point? Because that's not something you learn until bro, like, later literally, on. Literally, like, <laughs> bro. Sometimes I just pushed him off. Me. <laughs> yeah, literally. Well, um, yeah, he literally kept holding my neck down. Yeah, bro, and then, like it came to the point where. In the third round, the kid got the squad of head. I was gonna say yeah, <laughs> you can't just keep doing that without yeah I know. consequences. So then you won that. Yeah, by disqualification. In my head, I was like, oh man, that's a, such a rubbish win. So a win's was, a win, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Would you I have won on points wrong. anyway? Do you think? Me, yeah, I think I would have won by a split decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Would have been close. Yeah, but the one thing in the third round. That um like got me going is because my coach slapped me in the face, mm-hmm. yeah, which uh, woke me up quite a bit. So 
put you in a mindset you need to just yeah wake up go man. just go ham mm -hmm. but yeah but um one thing that really annoys me with uh my belts or the the first two belts is they always get my wrong my name wrong <laughs> what so, did they say <laughs> like you know how it's Jaden john lewis yeah they always say Jaden lewis <laughs> yes yeah, so all of that and they call out Winner by disqualification, <laughs> Jaden Lewis. I know, but it's so. Uh, what was that feeling like yeah. though when they announced you as the winner? Well, well, my last fight, bro, uh, it felt so good. Felt so good, man. But how about the first one? Uh, or your first, first like proper fight, not the skills oh, belt. Like I was like, yeah, come on, but I didn't really feel like, a winner because because it was a disqualification. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you needed that, that that redemption. Yeah, man. That's what I needed, man. But, oh my gosh, the third fight. Ah, oh, I, I won't. Well, well before we go on to the third was, one, yeah, you were meant to have a third one earlier on. What happened with that? Oh my gosh, that was ah, oh, that annoyed me so much. So I was training like proper hard, and then obviously was that Bletchley met Bletchley working men's club. Yeah, I was supposed to be fighting, and then um, so I was in the changing room, uh, upstairs. And in the changing room in the Bletchley Working Men's Club, bro, you can literally see your opponent opposite you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's every fighter in there. So, um, yeah. I was just getting ready. I was nervous, everything. My family was coming down. My friends were coming down. And after all, my coach <laughs> came in the room and he was at uh, Jaden Reese, because there was another fight. Yeah. A fight or, um, he His fight got cancelled as well. But he was like, Jaden Reese, uh, yeah, sorry, you can't fight no more. Your fight got cancelled. And I was like, I, first, at first, I thought you were joking. So I yeah. just started laughing. <laughs> yeah, I started laughing. And after he was like, now nah, I'm serious. Like, yeah. Why was it cancelled? Because my fighter didn't make the way. So it wasn't even your fault? No, nah, no, nah, it, was, it was his fault this time. Yeah. And imagine I saw him walking outside the room as well. Mm. Yeah, because he got his way in there and after he just left. I don't blame him. Yeah. He so, needed to get away as quickly as possible. I saw such a shambles, man. I was going to say. Because my, fa my family came down from London, everything, man. And like, I just had to watch people, other people fight in it. Because it's, it's yeah. something that you couldn't have done anything about. Yeah, that's what Like, you were at weight, you did your training, you yeah. did everything you needed to. <laughs> he rocks up. <laughs> like, two kg of pasta the day before. That's what I'm saying, underweight. Uh, no, you, yeah, he was underweight. Oh, he was underweight? Yeah, yeah, he was underweight. Did he make weight, like, any time during his training, do you know? No, nah, I don't even know. No. I was like, I'm not too sure. But he came from a long way away. I, I don't even know what, what it was. I think that like Scornful or something. Some place all like the that. way just to yeah. <laughs> not be able to fight <laughs> bro oh my gosh so well i'm assuming he must have weighed himself the night before because uh, imagine bro. like yeah you can't make like travel all that distance without knowing your that's weight you're I'm gonna saying. check the day before <laughs> otherwise there's that's no point traveling in the first place that's what i'm saying i don't know how he was underweight man no nah, i don't know how but that yeah. sucks though i know i was ready to fight at all man I'm ready to fight would you say you'd improved at that point as well? Ah, mm. uh, wait. When... <sighs> like, what was the distance or the time in between the second fight and that third fight that didn't happen? I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, that was like um, two months. Was that it? Yeah, 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 literally two months. So, yeah, I was definitely ready. So what was, was camp like then? Huh? What was camp like? Uh, bro, yeah, literally. <laughs> it was brutal, man. Brutal. Yeah. Uh, running... Running like three miles, uh, circuits, man. Circuits are the worst. I'm telling you, bro. Mm. <laughs> bro, like, <laughs> I was on a circuit yesterday, and bro, <laughs> yeah. I cannot move my right arm at all. But you're still here. I know, man. This Come is on, dedication man. right here. Come on, man. But yeah, literally, like, the training, brutal, man. Brutal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so that fight got cancelled. Yeah. And then COVID happened. Yeah. Oh my gosh, let's not talk about that. Nah, man. come on, what, what was that like? Oh, uh, bro, so uh, during COVID, uh, nah, uh, so this was before COVID, I got a girlfriend, in it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a girlfriend like February. Yeah. Yeah, and no, nah, I was still boxing for uh, Was this December, like February 2020? 
Yeah. Okay. I got a girlfriend uh, February seventeen. So back then, I kind of stopped boxing because obviously all my time and effort was on my girlfriend. Yeah. And college as well. So that was a shambles. And then um, lockdown the hit. And then oh wait oh let me let me let me say something. So before. Was supposed to, before lockdown hit, we were supposed to fight MK Don Stadium. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, so that yeah. would have been oh, your be so that would have been your first fight. I knew, man. Would that have been in the like, the stadium part, yeah. the arena part? Yeah, the Marshall Arena. Yeah, either way though, could bro, you imagine? I know, man. You would have had so many people coming to watch that. That's what I'm saying, bro. The world's just telling you not to fight at this point. <laughs> bro, literally, man. But yeah, uh, before that, so February times, I was in college. I had a girlfriend, and then lockdown hit. Bro, when lockdown hit, bro, I did not train at all. Yeah. Like, for a whole, what was like a year. So what were you doing during lockdown then? Bro, I was making music. I done a little bit of training, mm-hmm. like skipping, running now and then, but it wasn't like f- fully proper training. Like, I was shadow boxing. But yeah. Now, nah, um, <laughs> I, <mean, laughs> I shouldn't be saying this, but. Throughout the lockdown, I, I did break break a few rules. Like my my girlfriend yeah. came around, man. I went around my girlfriend sometime because, like, obviously we couldn't. Like, you couldn't see bear, each other. We couldn't, yeah. bear, like, not seeing each other. So yeah, and she kind of. I'm not gonna lie. She kind of helped me with training as well. Like she used to motivate me, like for runs, mm-hmm. and tell me to go shadow boxing. And all that stuff. So yeah, I was with her for quite a while. So you did do some runs once you were able to again. Yeah, getting yeah, back yeah. into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did a little bit. And then when it opened, like I only went boxing for a little while. Yeah, I went boxing for a little while, and literally I stopped for a bit because of college, yeah. girlfriend, bro, <laughs> bro, <coughs> girlfriend, college man, it just stops what you love doing, literally. Mm-hmm, yeah, but um, so yeah, um, but you got back into it again eventually. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you a while, well, but you got back into it. Long time, yeah. When did you get time. back into it? Bro, literally after I was with my girlfriend for a bit, and then after that like, we we broke up. Yeah, and then that's when I just fully started. I was going to say you boxing. needed something to. Yeah, man. Like, Take your emotions out. Bro, literally, fam. So, obviously, I signed up to a gym. Yeah, because, obviously, <laughs> uh, my emotions were going through the roof, man, mm-hmm. when I saw that. And, like, literally, bro, in the morning, I woke up 5 o'clock in the morning to go to the gym. And then, bro, I literally stayed there for like, two hours, man. Like, I went swimming. Yeah. Bro, and I was running, everything, man. Just training for the whole time. Yeah, literally. And then... That's when I started like fully getting back into boxing, um. But work, work during that as mm-hmm. well, like just working. It it took a toll on boxing as well. And of course, you had your music as well at the yeah, same time. Yeah, You're yeah. trying to do all these things. <laughs> Bro, it's all crazy, man. It's all crazy. But then earlier this year, yeah, is when you had your third fight finally after yes. like two years of waiting. Bro, crazy, like. Bro, and the thing is, yeah, I wasn't even really prepared for that fight yeah. as well. Like, oh, no, you bro, only knew it was going to happen, like, th- what, three days before? That's what I was, nah. Not, nah. <laughs> it was so close. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, no, they found an opponent three days before. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had, yeah, like, a fam. week of bro, warning. <laughs> <literally>, <laughs> like, man, bro, because obviously I had to get my, bro, this is all done in the space of, like, three weeks. <laughs> literally. Like, I had to get my medical done again, so I had to go down to Luton, see the doctor, um... Get my medicals done, and apparently he done AJ's medical as well. So that's cool. Yeah, pretty cool. We met AJ as well. Know, the man. day before oh, you fought, bro, it was so sick. That's cool. But yeah, nah. Um, and then after, then I got the medical done, all sorted, man. Like started training. Yeah. Like ham, I was going ham with the training. Oh, <laughs> but, it's hot. But, but the diet thing. Yeah, I was gonna say the diet. <laughs> I bro, don't know about that. Nah, you bit... were literally eating McDonald's like two days before. Oh, don't expose me, man. <laughs> but yeah, oh, the diet thing was so. Uh, nah. But yeah, but yeah. Um, so obviously I was training, and then, bro, on Friday. No, it was Saturday. Yeah, me and you went to see a boxing match. We did Wembley. Yeah, Deji boxing match. 
that was it was an interesting experience shambles, i've man. made a video about that already we don't need, <laughs> don't need to go too in depth about that it was oh, a shambles but, but yeah no nah, no nah, so no nah, deji needs to get just needs to get back on the horse and start training again, he does man. yeah especially like, he needs to start he needs to just focus man yeah that's what he needs to do but yeah, nah, I'm glad I met my inspiration as well, AJ, AJ man. AJ, yeah, no, that was so sick oh to meet him. Oh my gosh, man. Like, he's the whole reason why I started boxing. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Then like, we got back from London at like 1am. That's what I was saying, With your flight bro. the next day. <laughs> that's what I was saying. I should have been asleep that day. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, woke up. Um, and then after I got ready, I didn't even eat in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I should have ate. But um, obviously, um, I got a sandwich after the weigh-in. Yeah, got there, went into the weigh-in. Yeah. Um, you weighed in okay? Yeah, yeah. I was weighing at 56 kg. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm quite light. Yeah. But what yeah. was the weight you needed? Was um, it 56? Yeah, I think it was 56. Yeah. And then, obviously, after everyone started coming, uh, the door started opening. Yeah, so. no. I came in. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, it was packed. It was a great day, though. Packed, man. Yeah, like, man. Honestly, it was because it's such a small space. Yeah. That's but there were so saying. many people there. That's what I'm saying, bro. All support, everything, man. And then come to your fight. Bro. How did that go? You know what, though? Literally, mm. like, what, 10 minutes before your fight, or maybe a bit longer, there was, like, a leak. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you were so close and not fighting bro, again. I know, man. Bro, literally, my coach patterned it. He put, uh, put a, a bin, bin bag, bag on the roof. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> and then, yeah, um, after that, there was another fight. And after that fight, then it was yours. I was getting ready. Like, yeah, I was on the pads, bro. When I was on the pads, bro, I felt like this is real. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> Finally doing it again. Bro, Only took two years. That's what I'm saying, bro. And um, yeah, it just felt so good. But I can't lie, the change room was a mess, bro. Like you can yeah. smell damp everything. <laughs> but yeah, um, now nah, it was so sick. Like, and I was walking out. And then like, mm -hmm. after the, they what, said your what, name right as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what's going to be playing again? They play lose yourself. Eminem. Yeah, lose yourself. Yeah, and bro, that point I was focused, bro. Like, yeah, you I were in so the in focused. the zone. Yeah, literally. And then so because you didn't have your head gear on for that fight nah, either. Your nah, opponent, he was, was in the ring with his head gear. I know, on. man. <laughs> and my coach was like, "Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, well, why has he got that?" <laughs> so he took it off. Yeah, literally. So he already must have been a bit yeah scared. flustered before even starting. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, yeah, literally. Um, so, yeah, coming to the ring, yeah, I was just focused. And then, um, yeah, literally, <laughs> I was taking in the moment, man. Literally, everyone was saying, Combo Jada. Combo yeah, literally, Jada. yeah, the whole place was oh, supporting you. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Me and your bro. cousin were standing there, <laughs> screaming at the top of our lungs bro, the whole time. Bro, I know, but I heard you guys, man. I lost my voice that day. <laughs> It was well, especially from the other from the night, night before as well, yeah, yeah. Um, so obviously, um, I had my hands up, mm -hmm. but I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to come to the uh, in, into the middle. Oh yeah, you yeah. didn't have but the top from the ref. Both of us had our hands up. Yeah, well, literally, but it was ready. Came to the middle. Um, you got told the rules and that, bro. I can't lie. I can't. I can't remember anything no. you said to me. <laughs> well, you're just in the zone. You don't listen. <laughs> yeah, literally. But then you go back to your corners. Yeah, it's good. round it's one. Good. Yeah, round one, bro. You came out like oh, a beast. Oh my gosh, the, <laughs> the whole place was fam, screaming. I know, <laughs> but round one was so sick, man. Like my head movement, and everything. Yeah, it was so. You were throwing sick. big punches from That's the get go. That's what I was saying. Well. Like, like five seconds in. Bro, I, I hit him with a good hook yeah. on the roots. And then, yeah, so, um, yeah, that was good. Rumble. I was convinced you were going to win straight away. <laughs> like, as soon as I saw you came out, I was like, this could Bro, all change around, but yeah. I was convinced you were going to win. Come on, man. But then, speak about it all yeah. changing around. Round two. Round two. First, at, well, starting off, I don't know, okay, coming out, I don't know, right? Yeah. Like, with my parrying and head movement and that. Like, bro, I remember... Um, he threw the hook. I dodged it. I think. Yeah, there was then, one really uh, good right hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moment of head. Yeah, it was a few. It was a few yeah. good uh, moments in the second round, and then, bro, I started getting tired. Yeah, like my legs. <laughs> you started got tired, so slow, bro. I know my arms, bro. I could not. Uh, it was so mad. And after he started battering me, 
and like he even his coach was like, "Oh, Kai's getting tired." Yeah, now. you're gonna win on, yeah, he's on gonna, what I'm, was it? Win on fitness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I heard that, and I was like, you know, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, because you were you were slowing down. Yeah. You had no energy left. I know. <laughs> you had your hands down, yeah. so you weren't even defending yourself. Know, that's what Me I'm and doing. your cousin were screaming, "Get your guard up and compose yourself." Well, even my coach, like, he yeah. was shouting bit loud. And oh, then yeah. you were just throwing wild punches for I no know. reason, which were like miles oh. from him. <laughs> so you were just and wasting even more yeah, energy. That's what, that's what makes it worse as well. And then obviously the third round, bro, I was in the corner and then my coach slapped me in the face. Yeah, just that, like the, yeah, first like the time. second round. Yeah. So yeah, when he done that, bro, my face so, was literally yeah. like this. Bro, yeah. I was so angry. Like. <laughs> and then, yeah. When I came out, bro, I went at ham, bro. Yeah, third round was a beautiful performance. Bro, third, third round, it was like a, a Rocky movie, fam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the redemption. Bro, literally like... Oh. You're like, I finally need to get a proper win. I know, and both of us was like, both, like, he he hit me with a few shots. Yeah, but there was I one where you were like shots. almost in the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You slipped one of his mm. and came round with a right. Is it? What? The one where you rocked him. Oh, yeah, now what is it? In that one, I was like... On the ropes, isn't it? Yeah. And after I had my hands up, yeah, he, I think he threw a punch. And after, I, just, I don't know what it was, but my instincts, like, I was just on the corner and I threw a left hook. Yeah. Oh, was and, it the left? Oh, it was yeah, the left, yeah. yeah. And it hit him clean, fam. <laughs> oh, clean. Oh, yeah, no, his legs were gone. Yeah, he started stumbling as well. I'm pretty sure if the ref wasn't there, he would have gone Bro, down. That's what I'm saying. Because you saw he went, he went right back into the ropes to where the ref was. I know, and the, re- the, the ref, ref held him up. up. Oh, such a down. But and then after after that happened, bro, I saw he was hurting it. So um like literally I just started throwing hooks. Yeah. Le- left, right, so literally. And like it felt like such a mad moment because bro, what the hell is Literally, yeah, everyone this, was bro, screaming. Bro, for you. Ev- everyone was screaming, clapping, everything, man. So yeah, I And then did you know you'd won? Huh? Did you know that you'd won? Nah, bro. Actually, maybe third round, I, I thought I had the edge of it. So, yeah. Um, bro, and after the bell rang, I was so relieved, man. Like, bro, I kept, I went up to the guy and, bro, we had such a long hug, man. Yeah, I saw. And, bro, that's so the thing about boxing, respect. man. Sportsmanship, man. Yeah. That's that's what one thing I love about boxing. At the end of the boxing. day, you're both getting in the ring. That's what I'm saying. For the same reason. But yeah. Just to win, man. But yeah, I went up to his coaches, yeah. congratulating me as well. Well, at the moment, I felt like crying as well. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, so went into the middle, the co- the referee, the ref, yeah, yeah he, the referee, um, spotted me, or or gave me a handshake, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and after, bro, in my head, I was like, did I win or what? And after, it was like, uh, you're winner, but you name this yeah, position. Exactly. Jada John Lewis. And he got your name right as well. Oh, I know, man. And after I jumped up so high. Uh, yeah. Well, I almost hit the ceiling, man. But yeah, it was such a great moment, man. Great moment. To finally get that win that I you've know, been waiting man. for <laughs> all this bro, time. When I stepped out the ring, bro, like I felt like I was a superstar, bro. <laughs> literally, like, everyone, everyone was, like, crowding around me. <laughs> literally, man. But it was so good, man. Great experience, man. Yeah. Great experience. So, like, what's next then for Jaden? Bro, literally, more fights coming, man. More fights. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just training at the moment really hard. As you can see, my arm is... Yeah, you're still going ham. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, just fighting again. Yeah. Hopefully, I want to go to Olympics. <laughs> in, <laughs> in the like future at some two point. Two years. Yeah. I think it's two years anyway. But, yeah. Yeah, it is two years. But, yeah. Um, well... But yeah, man, big up, bless the ABC, man. <laughs> literally, man. I love the club so much, man. Bro, <laughs> I won't be embarrassed, but we're the best club in Milton Keynes. Yeah, I mean, you proved it. You yeah. won most of the fights <laughs> at your last bout. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah, no, yeah. thank you for uh, thank you for coming along today. Nah, bro, thank you. Even with the injury, oh, still here. Oh, I was going to add something to it. What? Bro. It was just something about mental health, wasn't it? I was just quickly go for like, it. Bro, if, I, if it wasn't for boxing, man. Like, bro, my mental health will be mm-hmm. through the roof, man. Like, when I'm training, bro, literally, my head just goes clear. And after I start, after I don't train, like, a day after, bro, I just start getting depressed again. Like, so, when I train, it's just it's such a... It's piece. a good outlet, that's yeah, what it is. that's what I'm saying. So, if I was to give you guys advice, bro, literally, get into boxing, man. It's the best thing. Yeah. Best thing.
No, I agree. Yeah. But yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Thank you for coming along. It's no, been good. No, thank you, man. Thank good you. luck with your boxing, man. Thank you very much, man.